Hey y'all, welcome back to Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. Uh, we're done with the snow area, and actually before we did leave, I noticed that a certain kitty cat was buried in the snow, so we made sure to pick her up before heading to Ripple Star. <laughs> does, the, does the little kitty need a cover? And hot chocolate! Hot chocolate with marshmallow. <laughs> and whipped cream! That sounds good right now. Oh, hey, a cake! I'll drown the whole devil lamb thing with marshmallows if you want. I don't know why I loved how when Kurt. Oh, hey, actually, I'm just realizing, James, this sound. This sounds very reminiscent of the first level. Because they're using the same yep. theme song of the first level, and as a matter of fact, the first level of Ripple Star here is little oh, is more or less a, a complete um, mirror of the uh, the original um, level of Pop Star. Huh. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. I will admit that's something I love when you threw the plug guy. Like before he exploded, he just stuck on the wall for a second. It's like yeah, now was... what? This is yeah. my fate. There Boom. is no outlet here. I must die. <laughs> oh, how oh, I see what you did there. But more crystals. We always have to collect crystals. Well, that was easy. That was too easy, but yeah, no, like, like right, like right to the freaking crystal sh shard there, just being out there in the plain open. Like, yeah, this is supposed to be a more or less a mirror of the first level of Pop Star, even so much so as having the first boss in this cramped space. Oh, I, guess, yeah. I, guess I, I guess I could see that as being like it's meant to be that Ripple Star is in of itself like almost like an alternate version of Pop Star, just for the fairy folk. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Although, I mean, it, it's nice to see that Purple Star is so nice and jolly at the moment, despite going through a bit of a dark matter infestation. Yeah, this is actually a surprisingly oh, yeah. bright place. Wasn't the whole plan enveloped in dark matter earlier? Yeah, I guess we found a small little gap. <laughs> a calm before the storm. I would love if, like, by the time you reach the end of the level, like, dark matter just appears as, like, oh, Mr. Spot, and then just covering the entire thing <laughs> in just blackness. Zaps. All the enemies well, actually, in this game look so yeah. cute! It I does look cute. I was kind of... I was gonna add something to this, and my, but my sister walked in, not knowing I was recording, and I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, oh. we're talking about oh, oh, we need bomb and. So yeah, you were wondering why I was keeping needle. needle at that whole time. It's because of this. Crap! We need bomb and needles. Uh -oh. Is there a needle mm. nearby? Nope. Nope. But well, now we got it. Do, do, do. There ha. you go, right there. Yeah, that's nice. a, that's a bit, that's a bit of an upgrade from the first level where all you needed was bomb. Now you need needle on top. So of wait, that. is Kirby a Gardo? That's what it looks sort like. Of. Yeah, more or less. A Kirby in disguise. Kirby's in disguise. Is that it? Oh wow, first. Wow, this wow, this world's gonna be easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, too yum, easy. Yum, 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 oh, yum, I remember yum, what I was gonna yum. say now. This world oh, is more. It's well, the first one anyway. This first level is it more or less is is like you come full circle, in a way. Uh -huh. Yeah, though that being said, that's where the similarities end, because now oh. we've come to the darker oh. portions of Ripple Star. Oh, jeez. In fact, we've actually There's... reached the castle itself. Oh, well, well, I remember back door. this music. Down here! It's a shortcut! Whoop. Careful. <sighs> yeah, no, this music is. Oh, nice. Oh, so you have to come here with electric. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Yep. Jeez. It, you, it's, a, it's not immediately easy to tell because of the water. The water filter making it more greenish. Cause like I remember greenish. when I first saw that, I was a little confused. Didn't mm -hmm. realize you know, I good... needed electric. You know, it's both a, it's both fortunate on it's both fortunate and unfortunate, depending on which scenario you look at it from. That whenever Kirby uses electric abilities, it doesn't <laughs> shockwave the entire water. <laughs> oh yeah, that yeah. that that is true. But... It's isolated and like the water. Well, I mean. It probably only superheats the area around him. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Guess mm -hmm. so. So. I mean, the water is just that. The water is just that tough. Also, so, I don't know what the heck I was doing here. You were looking around trying to make sure you didn't miss any crystals because yes, this little like I thought I my nickel. This foreground stencil can make things a little bit tricky to make sure you uh, find everything. Aha. Uh, I mean, let it not be said that again. Kirby has this a wonderful duality of having adorable music when it needs to, and really creepy music when it really wants it. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> marks. That's just Kirby in general, man. It's somehow both the most precious thing in existence and the most scary double oh, damn no. thing alive. Hold on, I got this. Oh hey, DDD. Hello, DDD. Let me show you how a hammer man does things. Poor Kirby trying to like block his face. Ah, <laughs> uh, that, that, that's looking like some solid work there. All right, I'm on break Thank now. You. <laughs> you owe me a dollar. What a pointless interlude. Just takes out coffee. <laughs> yeah, actually, while well, it's uh, like as Kirby passes by, he's like, "That'll be five bucks." <laughs> and he will not let you pass. This oh. is the DD toll. Seriously though, that wasn't 
it was kind of pointless. <laughs> I, was, I don't know. I, I just like to think that that's just a case where, you know, even in such a dark, dank environment, Kirby's friends are still there to lend him a hand when he himself can't do anything about it. Yeah. Sure. And I'll, then and I'll, I figured, and I'll go ahead, type. Th then I figured it was just a way of saying, like, oh, there's no way Kirby could have gone by there by himself. He kind of did need the help. Yeah. And if not that way, I would say, think of this as, like, the big Ocean's Eleven. Like, this is the big heist job where we're seeing everybody's, like, strengths come right. into play just for this level you know as what? arbitrary just, as it may be for some reason now i just have this image of like while kirby ddd and adeline are sneaking through the base while these just in the back playing the mission impossible theme on a kazoo <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be it's always gotta be kazoo but wait how can he play kazoo when he has no mouth how can he when he has no mouth good point <laughs> Whenever you say this, I just imagine Waddle D is just over there, like, you know, drinking some, like, hot cocoa that we just gave him, and then he just, like, <laughs> and just looks at his mouth, like, <sighs> Yeah. Hey, Adeline, what are you going to give us? What are you going to give us, Adeline? Candy! Invincibility! Have some candy! Oh, hang on. I sure you... Oh, I see. The little uh, colors on the pillars themselves. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep laughing like that. That's funny. It's okay. Where do you go? It's... Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, what do we do here? It looks like an back. elevator. Elevator. Going up. We found the back door. And that's it. Uh, th this world, I will say, some of the levels are really short because it's all building up to that grand heist or whatever. Pretty yeah. much. Something I meant to point out but never got a chance to until now, DDD is technically committing cannibalism there because he's eating bird. Oh, well, God, you're right. Not, it's not the same kind of bird. I mean, fish eat fish on a regular basis. True. Right, and I know some birds that attack other birds like crows. Yeah. Oh, because oh, I've never seen a bird eat. It's a this bird, music. Though. Besides, I'm smarter than the average bird. Yeah, yeah. Big birds eat small birds all the time. Smarter right, than Alan? the average bird. Big birds eat small birds all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, just in case you didn't hear it, he was like, I'm smarter than the average bird. That is highly debatable. <laughs> <laughs> That is highly debatable. But, uh, James, what is this level that we're in now? So, we've effectively reached this game's equivalent to the Gauntlet, where Kirby has to go through multiple rooms filled with multiple kinds of enemies and the occasional intermission with a sandwich. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> with the sandwich. And I do like the tree. The tree, uh, changes, uh, different, like, times of night as we get higher and higher. And I also know this. Nice. Awesome. Ha! Yes. And I also do, 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 yeah, do, lightsaber! Do, 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 do. And I, All and right. I also, and I also like this. Oh. Oh well, no lightsaber. Dang it! And I also like this music just because of that dumb <laughs> meme with all of the. Oh, I don't even know what program Whoa. they always okay. use in the <laughs> meme where they start squashing and stretching the boxes all over the place as the instruments go nuts. You yeah. know, I'm just thinking like just going back to Kirby with the double-ended lightsaber. I'm now I'm, for some reason I'm just imagining Kirby being like, I find your lack of faith disturbing. Hmm. <laughs> Kirby, do you even know half the shit you just said right now? <laughs> Not a clue. Oh, you, yeah, you need fire and fire and cutter, no, fire and needle, past James. Or a fire sword. <laughs> oh no. Do, do, Is this fire the one needle. crystal shard I end up forgetting? Oh, I didn't. Well, I didn't realize that the squid, the circle was meant to yes, represent the colors of the symbols. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it can be deceptive like that. Cause I thought oh. it was just part of the, I thought it was just part of the decor. Yeah, I did too. All I was gonna say is that knowing James, he either got off screen or he's gonna show his reattempt getting it. It's called I plan for everything. Exactly. No, I know. I don't say. I, no, and I say, and I understand exactly why because, uh, you know, we have to, we gotta show the reason why we need to get all of those crystals in the first place. Just That's like right. I, I plan for everything except for <laughs> that. It's like, I planned for everything, except for that one double damn controller mishap nice. at the end of Odyssey. It's okay. True, that was, that was, that was pretty, that was, that was pretty much just freaking... Dumb luck. Yeah. Aha. Almost, luck and, okay. Luck and just, I don't know, hype apparently having this ob obscene power to literally screw over any, anyone's control <sighs> methods by yeah, saying, just... by, by literally jinxing them. The cursed well, jinx. Well, hey, it, hey, it, it helped out. It was at it the was end of it was at the end of Odyssey. I was saying something about how like we were talking about like Logan missing this. I said he might not if he mess up, and that caused James's controller to I guess drift to the side where he just walked off the edge. In and that reception at the end. Yeah. And then and I remember because like everyone was freaking out, and I was like, at least we don't have to worry about Logan missing it. Then I came back <laughs> and I was like, hey, what I missed? And everyone was like, ah! And I was like, oh god. <laughs> this attack I, is I, weird. I, I cracked up. We, I think it's, Ellie and I cracked up over. Yeah, it's like, 
It's like, yeah. hey, what's going on? Why are you guess, guys strangling Steven? I guess I'd have to go back and look. It was funny. Alright. Oh, well, oh, giant look at portal the roof. in the ceiling. Oh, so matters. Right. I'm getting actual chills. Same here, <laughs> honestly. Seriously, well, that right thing looks back. like it should be a freaking elevator. I know, but I mean, or, I guess... Well, are these things... I just realized, are these things supposed to be like Dark Matter Poyos? Maybe. Maybe? Poyos. Kind of looks like it. <laughs> well, I mean, like... Actually, instead of Poyos, I'm thinking of Moomoos from uh, Klonoa. I can see that, too. Kind just of. dark color point. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Oh. Yay. Nom, nom. Yeah. So, yeah, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much all the levels that Ripple Star has to offer. So now we come to our boss, which would be your final boss if you did not get all the crystal shards, uh, Miracle Matter. All Miracle right, Matter. let's oh, fight this guy. I s okay, you missed that, mm. well, that one crystal on purpose. And now she's caught on with the program. She caught on. Good oh. on you. Oh, boy. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, yes. Actually, for some reason, I was just thinking, like, oh, you missed that on purpose so you could show the bad ending. Sure, why not? Yeah, it only so is with Miracle. So with Miracle Matter, you have to attack him with whatever element he's using at the time. Otherwise, it'll literally deflect him as if it were nothing. Yep. <laughs> so, yes, he's using every single itself. coffee oh, element we've been using. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're still... Oh, okay. Funny thing about Miracle Matter is... um. I mean, unless you consider the last boss to a certain extent, this is actually pretty much the hardest fight in the entire game. Ow. It definitely lasts a long I time. I remember attempting this a couple times, and it was hard. <laughs> yeah. I remember struggling. So who's D&D Dices us? <laughs> I think I guess this is Bomb right here? Yeah, it's yes, Bomb. Yes, it is. Okay. It's, it's a little unusual considering, you know, it's Bubbles, but I also understand why, yep. because it's <laughs> Black. Well, well, Sorry, I was I also about to around. say, no, it's fine. well, it's not just that. It's also like for something that's supposed to be bomb, there's a distinct <laughs> lack, there was a distinct lack of explosions. Nice. Well, I guess if you got, I guess if you land into them or something. Yeah, if you touch them, they explode. I just realized, Seely, you mentioned earlier you took some medication. I take it that didn't wear off yet. It's, it's all your giggling. Uh, oh. it's never going to wear off. I mean, it's fun. I mean, it's, it's a medication I have to take daily. I don't know why, but the way you said that was kind of cute. It's never gonna wear off. Okay, Ca uh, careful, hi, careful, uh, careful, hi, careful, hi, be careful, James. I'm Luffy. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just it's be very okay. careful. Be careful. Here, because <sighs> we're on. Because yeah, where this boss always messes me up is that it is a gauntlet. <laughs> yes. So like, be be careful, oh. Seely. If you get too loopy, if you get too loopy, Jordan's gonna get too loopy, and Allie might get too loopy, and I don't even want to know what me and the guys. Are How doing. is it contagious? <laughs> hey, James. Hmm? What happened there? Like, yeah, like right there. Sometimes you deal enough damage that a little mini explosion happens. Basically, that means that 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 <laughs> that particular formation it will is pretty much destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> this rock form knocked me out so many times. <laughs> yeah, no, like. See what, what's I, happening? On, on you this... literally only have one health left. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, come on, give him a little bit more credit, man. Okay. Uh, so come back on, to come back, on, uh, on. James. You were gonna say something. Nah, never mind. The moment. And Gui, you were gonna say something about oh, whatever's yeah, happening there. Yeah, I was just gonna point out. On each side, there's a red circle that that you're pretty much eliminating. That that means you're eliminating one side. Wow. He's almost one. down. Come on. It's a one on one. Who will be a victor? Jump. Yeah, yeah. I would say be very careful. Nice. Victor. Beaten by a rock. And so down goes the miracle. Yay! Hey, we got our last shard. Quote unquote. Do, 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 do. Oh man, that was that was heart stopping. Look at him happy. I yeah. guess we did it. Yay! The treasure has been restored, and the darkness went away. Hey! And with the power of friendship in Animu... Animu... The power of the stars has returned to the castle. Yay! <laughs> Dark matter is blasting off again! <laughs> Aw, the poor fairy queen klutz. <laughs> you can send the bill to Popstar! Didi's like, I'm oh. There needs to be more characters like those. Yeah. Shaking hands. Aww. Oh, Dee Dee. Oh, Dee Dee. <laughs> She's crying. I will miss you, dorky glasses, Queenie. Call me. The day has been saved. <laughs> or has it? Never. <gasps> oh. What? So, yeah, that little glare there is pretty much a sign that you still got unfinished business. 
guess so. Um... And even funnier is that um, during the first portion of the credits, if you decide not, if you didn't get all the crystal shards, all the drawings you see are sketches. Oh yeah, like yeah, see, they're not oh. fully filled in. Yeah, stuff not... that online did, I think. Oh yeah, I like that they're sketches. Wow. When did this game come out again? 2000, literally at the turn of the millennium. Yeah, I think it was... 2000? Really? I thought it was the late 90s. No, it was 2000. I think this was, like, one of the last N64 games they made. Huh. Wow. I believe so, yeah, because um, a year later, we had some other games, like Conquered Bad Fur Day, and that's literally about it. Hmm. Oh, this yeah, that exists. <laughs> Like, what was that high-pitched squealing I heard while Seely said, oh yeah, that exists? That was from Gwee. I said, this game's 20 years old. Yep. yep. Happy birthday! <laughs> oh yeah, and I saw back there Sakurai, yes, yeah, so he definitely voiced yeah. me for sure. Yeah. And that's literally all, that's literally the only credit he has towards this project, because he was a little too busy with Smash Brothers at the time. I mean, yeah. I'm, ha I'm happy then that they at least allowed, they, they let him, you know, still be involved. This is still yeah. his baby. Yeah. Oh, look at that Addo. <laughs> and a blade of grass. So, I will say, yeah, for the better part of my entire childhood, this is the only ending I knew, because I was not good enough to go for all of them crystals. Yep. Same. <laughs> Took me forever. And for years, you always wondered... You know what, uh, rest in peace, good sir. I was about to say, and for years, you always look at that ending, it's like, Well, I'm glad I saved the day, but why is that cute glasses queen looking at that gem rather evilly? <gasps> dun dun. Is that what game developers like to call sequel bait? <laughs> no, it just means you still have unfinished business. So with that said, why don't we finish that business next time for the finale of Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. Freaking finally. Oh my god. Okay! Yay. Finally! Okay, see you there. I'm still waiting on Kirby 64 too, you cowards!